Hi guys, what is good? If you clicked that thumbnail, you know where you reached. <sighs> this is Readings by Marvelous Madame. I am, oh, Marvelous One, Marvelous Madame in the flesh. Welcome back to the Marvelous Show. What is going on, Taurus? This is going to be your mid-month love reading. Okay, okay. For... The time period of the 15th through the 30th for my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on? Hope you guys are having or have had a good Thanksgiving if you celebrate the holiday. If you are off today, oh, if you were off yesterday or the day before or whatever, make sure you relax and surround yourself around love and light. Let those loved ones know how you feel. What is going on? Please bear with me. I have medicine head. My eyes are low. I'm not feeling well. My voice sounds halfway decent, but you will listen. Hear me. And this is curl is driving me nuts. Hear me going back and forth, hacking and all of that nasty stuff that we do. So I apologize in advance. We're going to go ahead and get started. Let me moisturize these lips a little bit. And I know you don't mind, Taurus, because you like to find the things, okay? And you give me an opportunity to be myself because I am a Taurus, Venus, and Mars. And get ugly. So I speak Taurus. All right, let's get started. So, um, mid-month love, I do have a couple of uh, announcements. We're going to go through them and zoom through them pretty quickly, okay? So we can spend more time with this reading. Um, I bit off a little bit more than I can chew. Um, so I have rescheduled all of the personal readings for this week to next week at the same time. I have also um, discontinued for the month the free readings that I can either randomly um, give out that I would randomly give to people in my comments because I do that. Um, or you hit me up and say you're interested in a free reading. Um, it was just too much going on. So it's a lot going on this month. Um, I need to get through the rest of the month and it was just a lot this week. Okay. Between sickness and holiday and blah, blah, blah. So next week as what I've done to bridge the gap of the people who wanted a free reading because they wanted the free reading and because of the money issues or the people that wanted to book a free reading and I wasn't available who have hit me up and say, Marvelous, I want to read and blah, blah, blah. What I have done to bridge the gap is I am offering a special for the last week of November only. It's going to go from Monday through Friday. It is $11 readings for level two, the 40 minute reading. That's normally $35, my most popular time option. Um, and that reading is going to be $11 and like two cent. Okay. So the link will be below to the scheduler, copy, paste the code, go ahead and do your secure checkout and book your $11 reading. And the actual, um, description, it will be in the description and it will say book your $11 reading here and it will be right down there. Okay. Um, uh, first come first serve guys. And it's only available for that week. And as I was just saying in the Gemini video, I think I am going to do the same thing for December because I can already foresee that it's going to be um, the same type of scheduling conflicts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer the free readings for the first two weeks of December. The third week or the week of Christmas, I am gonna, not going to be available that entire week, only for emergency readings only. If you want to know what the price points are for the emergency readings, they are on my scheduler, okay, Acuity Scheduling, which is that marvelous dot, readings by marvelous madame dot com dot me. The, the link is below. Um, I will be offering emergency readings only that week. Um, but then the last week of December, I will be probably running the exact same thing where they will be $12 readings for the level two only. Okay. If you want to book those other ones and pay for a price, please be my guest. I can't tell you how to spend your money, but this is giving you a $35 reading for 40 minutes for $11. Okay. First come first serve. Also, um, my, my time is limited. So if you find that you have booked and you can only do one particular day 
and you want the $11 reading, email me and let me know and let me see if I can uh, possibly squeeze you in because there is a certain amount of time that is built between each one of my readings um, only for my, you know, from sanity purposes. And so a lot of the times it sh takes off, I want to say about 40 minutes in between time so let's see 15 30 it takes about 45 minutes off which is the uh, the time frame of a whole nother 40 minute reading so i will technically have space for another 40 minute reading but because it gives me so much time in between it'll look like i'm booked when actually I will have room for one more. So if you run into that type of situation, booking your reading, please reach out to me and let me manually book it for you. Or extend the time or we will work it out. Let's get started. Okay, so for those of you guys who are new with me, hello, hello. I'm sorry that five minutes ago I didn't say hi to you. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to The Marvelous Tribe, ow, I'm sorry that I forced you into listening to that intro. Uh, but if you have made it this far, I will be time stamping when I pull this card. So you don't have to listen to this no more. Go ahead. Or you probably already looked down in the description and you can just bypass all of this. Okay. Five card energy reading. We're going to be pulling the main energy with gilded. We're going to be clarifying with right away. And if there is a need for a second clarification, we're doing that with Morgan. Um, we're going to be using the same cards throughout the rest of the month, although next month I may be doing it different. So we've used right away as main, uh, main. we've used um, Gilded as main. We're going to be using um, next month Morgan as main energy and clarifying with these other ones. It just really depends. And then we will be going back to my deck switch at the top of the year, which I can't wait where we pull energy off of different decks, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Universe, inner, universe, spirit, angels, and my guides, go ahead and provide me with the love energy that surrounds my Taurus in this mid-month love period from the 15th through the 30th. If the messages resonate, they do. If they don't, great, okay? Let them skate, guys. One thing that I did know, I do see the Four of Cups in your energy. Some of you guys are rejecting the offer or not focused on a viable off, um, offer of love right now. Um, you're not focused on the cup that's being offered to, offered to you. You are not focusing on much of anything right now, but Mercury is in retrograde, so that could be what you're experiencing. And a lot of you guys, they're falling again are operating in a very seven of pentacles type of mentality where you have planted seeds and you are waiting for them to come in or waiting for your ships to come in or waiting these two energies work hand in hand because on one hand you're waiting and, and while you're waiting in this period you're not focused on anything but your ships to come in and whatever seeds you felt you feel like you've planted you're waiting to see a return on that event or on that investment or for some of you you are waiting um in the wings Operating in a very four of uh, cups type of energy, reevaluating that cup of love that you're not focused on. And the seven of pentacles is a welcome energy to that because you're reassessing, taking a step back and reassessing things. Okay, that's enough. I've done this all over the place. So let's go. Show me spirit, Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for my Taurus. Okay. All right, finances and career at 8:54. Okay, as I stated, that's definitely where you go, where what you are focused on right now. Um, with this being in your energy, Seven of Pentacles. Um, this is a love reading, so you could be definitely operating in a sense of. Um, focusing on work while you reevaluate everything. I don't know. We don't know yet. All right, and your last is express your love. Spirit is calling you to go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, for those of you who are new here with me, I do pull three contributing energies um, on all of my decks. So let's get started. First and foremost, Taurus, you are being guided to keep an open mind. You are being told that it's safe to love, and you are being told to flirt 
Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Gemini got this card. Some of you guys could be connecting with the Gemini. I think Scorpio got keep an open mind. Somebody did get it was safe for you to love. I used to write them down and tell you guys, but sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. So we'll go back to that at some point, but I don't think it really matters to some of you guys. You just like whatever. All right. So let's go ahead and give this another shuffle. So Spirit is saying that finances um, and financial factors are an issue in your love life right now, either for you or your partner, okay? And express your love and go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Um, so that means that you're definitely holding back. That would let me know right now that you are operating in a very four of uh, cups type of um energy where you're not expressing how you feel there could be some type of separation um you're bored with the with the offers that you're getting or the offers are a lot of the times the offers are coming in you just don't want them okay <clears throat> universe spirit angels and my gods go ahead and give me the five energies cards that represent the energy that surrounds my taurus in this mid-month love period okay the sun is in reverse. You're definitely not happy right now. Leo energy is here. This is a major arcana. Okay. You're not happy about something right now. The sun is out. But you, two of these. Three of swords and strength. I don't really understand. If the other two cards come out in reverse, I'm going to um, change the deck. I'm not going to read a whole... Yeah, four out of the five are reversed. Oh, another one came out. Whew. Okay, Taurus. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? I'm gonna keep these two that came out reverse at the end. Um, it was the eight of pentacles, which makes sense because you are definitely operating and focused on work right now. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the, the last two cards in the bottom of the decks only, and I'm going to reshuffle for these other two. Um, your energy is very reverse. You're upside down, but I'm not going to read this that way. So um, what I do if the whole spread comes out in reverse, I'm not going to take all of those because that is going, that, that's, you, if you're operating upside down, you're operating upside down. Um, and you, 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 you literally feel upside down. I don't want to have to constantly differentiate for back and forth. That, that's, I don't necessarily like a whole spread of upside down energy or low vibrational everything that to me is a sign of depression um and i just don't rock like that they're falling um you guys are definitely upset about something okay um the sun came out this time it fell upright so um i can let you know that you are walking away from something that no longer serves you or there's been an end in a relationship and you were not happy about the decision. I can tell you that right now. The wheel of fortune is here. The lovers, why do I say that? Because Gemini energy, the lovers is uh, in reverse. And the ten of pentacles in, is in reverse. Some of you guys are definitely having an issue with finances and career with this ten of pentacles being in reverse. There was some type of breakup, shake up the breakup. Um, and the lovers, you're not feeling very happy right now in this relationship. Again, the clarifying deck, when I was trying to tap into your energy, did show me the four of cups. Now the eight of cups is showing up in your energy. So, um, maybe there was an offer that was accepted. It wasn't a viable option or a viable, um, um, option, or it just didn't fulfill you emotionally. Um, there was some type of betrayal, I feel. The judgment card is here, though. Um, the call has come, which is causing you to operate differently. That will explain the reason why um, there is no connection. I feel like there's a breakup here. Uh, the tower did drop 
upright, I, not, I didn't take it, okay? So let's see what these other energies are going to be. Show me, spirit, okay? I do feel that there is a sadness. Ace of Wands, okay? Fire, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. They're all falling. Queen of Wands. So that's my fire queen. Again, more fire. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. One more card. And we we got the three of pentacles here. All right. So we're going to go with that. I did reshuffle. And now I have everything that's upright. All right. So we did keep these, but I want to see what else we got. So we got the moon, Pisces. We got the four of pentacles. That's you holding back. And then we have the six of wands in reverse. So this is a complete breakdown of love. This is you not knowing how you feel. Um, this is you going back and forth, a battle and a struggle between the light and the dark. This is you holding back and blocking change with the four of pentacles. Okay, the six of wands here is indicating that you do not see a success. You do not see a victory. Overall, I would not be surprised in the clarifying deck if I saw betrayal. There is definitely a heartbreak, but I want to take the original cards that came out. We will go back and, and, and um, talk about those. So remember, spirit is saying, keep an open mind that is safe to love and flirt. I think this flirt card is not necessarily literal. I think it's telling you just to get back to having a good time because you're upset. Um, you're definitely walking away from things, people, places, and things that no longer serve you, Taurus. But this is your love reading. So this Eight of Cups lets me know that you're not focused on any of that. You're ready to walk the F away from this. There's a lot of passion that you have with this person. There's been good sex, good chemistry, a lot of passion, but not enough um, love energy, solid love energy to keep this relationship afloat. There is an unrequited love here that just did not come out in the Romance Angel Oracle cards, and I'm picking up on it with the lovers and the ten of pentacles there's been losses the ten of pentacles is in reverse and so is the lovers okay so uh libra virgo libra virgo and capricorn energy with the ten of pentacles the abundance that you once saw is completely operating low vibrational the connection that you once had with this lovers there's been some type of betrayal because you are not feeling it okay and then this is the driving force right here with the will of fortune there is going to be a change in fortune this is the end of a cycle um, we're going to see what type of uh, decisions that you make going into the next cycle, okay? So again, Ace of Wands and Queens of Wands, Queen of Wands, operating very passionately. I'm not going, and this is the newness. Something is new, something new is coming in. Something is sparking you, reigniting your passion, although you're upset and feeling let down. I think it was the call that came in. With this judgment card that lets you know that you need to get up out of that slumber, up out of that stagnancy and get where you need it to go. Three of Pentacles is showing up in your main energy. I feel like um, there's been a change um, in your finances, um, but this is letting me know that there's a good possibility that um, there is some type of um, you getting the job done. I feel like this is, there has been impossible, impossible um, circumstances surrounding something, but this is letting me know that there's, um, it is teamwork and planning and being competent. So if you guys have experienced some type of financial loss that's coming back in, the wheel is turning and this is someone deciding to take a chance on you either in the new job or in your existing job, if you got in trouble, um, you're going to um, reverse that energy, show that you're competent, and start really buckling down and focusing and getting the damn job done. And carry, carrying out the assignments well, very confidently um, and competently, and showing that you can do this job, okay? 
Um, I do feel like there's been some financial loss. You're not feeling as abundant. It could be that this is just you. I mean, three of pentacles is competent. So there is some type of situation that you dealt with with this uh, ten of pentacles. It could have just been you so focused on everything that's going on with you emotionally that you just been feeling this. Um, this is, again, the ten of pentacles that treasure chest is upside down so something is delayed but that doesn't mean that it's not coming you're going to slowly but surely get out of that the wheel of fortune is here letting me know that there's going to be a change in fortune okay that's for your finances and career the card is here although it's your love um reading so i have to talk about that so this is going to turn around i do see that um and if I get a clarifier, that'll let me know. But I feel like this Ace of Wands lets me know that there is definitely going to be a new opportunity, okay? And this opportunity that's going to come to you, you're going to be more competent. Um, you're going to be getting the job done better because you're passionate about it. So any of you Tauruses that lost a job or things are moving slow, it's about to take a turn, okay? Now, as far as expressing your love, spirit is telling you to make the romantic gesture that you, that you um, that go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I don't feel like that's on your mind right now. From a romantic spe uh, uh, perspective, I feel like this situation has completely broke down with the lovers in reverse. Um, you have been just getting it from all ends, Taurus. You are just feeling like, look, I I've had it. Um, I don't see a tower. I don't see any major arcana up here but judgment. So the call is going to come. That call could be a new job. Definitely, I see that. Um, that job, that, that, that call is definitely, uh, the judgment is letting me know that that is what's uh, divinely guided. What's divinely guided is this judgment. The judgment is coming. The rebirth, okay? The feeling reborn, the hearing the call, the new direction in love and career. All of that is coming. The wheel of fortune is here. So out of all of these cards that can let me know they may or may not happen, one thing is for sure. The wheel is turning, your fortune is turning, and you are going to be reborn, okay? You are going to be reborn. Cycle. That's the name of this. It's just all a part of the cycle. I want you guys to listen to that song. That is the name of this reading. It might not be cycle. It may be a line in a song. I'm feeling like I didn't come this damn far just to come this damn far. That's what the name of this is. That's what she's saying. And she's saying in the song that she realizes that the universe has its way to prove to you that things that happen to you is not a mistake. That is perfect. Finances and career, expressing your love, your, your passion, your creativity, your rebirth, your uh, inner calling, um, the, the wheel turning in your favor. This was all supposed to happen. Don't be discouraged. I'm hearing that this is just all a part of the cycle. Change the way in which you look at it. And um, things will continue to flow, okay? Clarify this Ace of Wands. Um, this Ace of Wands could also indicate uh, from a, a, a relationship perspective, good, um, good, you know, intercourse. Um, I don't know yet, but I always say that, especially in my love readings. Strength. So you have to d dig deep down, deeper than you've ever had to deal before, dig before in the fight of your life to execute and demonstrate this strength which got you um, to this Ace of Wands, which got you to your new opportunity, which got you to the rebirth of yourself, your inner calling. That's Leo energy, okay? So clarify for me this Queen of Wands, okay? Clarify this Queen of Wands. Also, this is the cycle. This represents cycles as well. I'm surprised the world card hasn't came out, but this wheel is turning, okay? Definitely, definitely. Clarify the queen of wands here. The high priestess, a balance between the dark and the light. Um, this is letting me know that there are things that were inside of you that you possibly were hidden. A certain level of, um, of mystery here. Okay, so... All of these cards so far are major arcana. You're going through a transformation, okay? That's what this is. You're going through a rebirth. 
Um, that's what this is. Clarify this Three of Pentacles. What? The Queen of Cups. Interesting. This is the mother. This is nurturing. This is the Cancer card. I'm going to re-clarify that. This is definitely going to need a third clarifier. I mean, a second clarifier with Morgan. So, we're going to get Morgan out in a second. Um, go ahead and clarify judgment for me, please. Judgment. Judgment is being clarified by the hangman. Two ways that you had to go. Upside down. Two decisions. A decision had to be made of whether to go right or left. The call came in and you make that decision. I don't know what it was, but it's going to happen and it came in. The wheel changed and when that wheel turned, that indecisiveness that you were operating in disappeared. And instantly you made the decision. Clarify this eight of cups, please. Clarify this eight of cups for me, for Taurus. Clarify this eight. Um, there is definitely a rebirth here, a resurgence. Two cards came out. And yes, definitely the Ace of Wands again. And you got mentally, you were just at the point in that love relationship that you can no longer go on. Um, but this is clarifying to me that there's been new life that's been breathed or that has been. Um... Oh, yeah, look. Yes. There is a, a new way of looking at this, okay? You looked at this very passionately and decided that you need to walk away. You, you understood mentally that this particular Eight of Cups, what you walked away from, didn't serve you. And as a result of you doing that, you became not insecure about it anymore. You started to accept the fact that that didn't serve you. There is something, mentally, it just about killed you to do it. But you were strong, and now you're slowly but surely looking at things more passionately. Um, something has definitely uh, spiked your passion again. Um, it could have been that you have um, just looked at the situation for what it was worth. This particular person was um, a good lay. Um, you were passionate, very attracted to the person, but I don't feel like beyond that it was for it, it was serving you. And I think that you realize that you're not getting what you need. And if you're not getting what you need, you started reevaluating why you were juggling. Why were you juggling? Try to balance this relationship with all other aspects of your life when you knew damn well that this person wasn't good for you. All right, you see or felt like you could have been victorious with this person. You were proud. There was something about this person that made you proud, okay? Absolutely proud to be with them in their presence. They, You must be extremely attracted to this person. I see all of the passion, but this person you decided... Mentally, they played too many mind games. You just could not take it anymore. You had had it with this ten of swords. Done. I, I can't. The 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 mental anguish that this relationship caused you, or this, I don't see it was a real relationship. I just saw. I see it was a lot of passion, a lot of great sex. Great sex does not indicate or not an indicator of true love or sustaining a real relationship. Okay, and you went higher than yourself. You dug deep with this strength card that's down here. That's Leo. This is Taurus. You definitely went somewhere where you never went through the depths of your soul to release this. It was hard. This person had you physically and this person had you mentally bound, but they didn't have your heart. And I think that when you tried to get more, when you tried to go in, you tried so hard, Taurus, and they wouldn't let you in. So then the seven of cups is here. The illusions disappear. You realize that this was an optical illusion. This was not something that you needed. Remember, this is clarifying that. So you were once here. Then when you started operating in reverse, you started taking a step back and looking at the fact that this was no longer serving you. Then you moved into the eight. But before you did that, you had to go higher than you ever had to go. Higher. 
deeper, stronger. Okay. Um, if it wasn't a slow paced song, cause I'm doing all, uh, slow songs, um, or, uh, love songs, so to speak, I would do that stronger. What don't kill you, make you stronger by Kanye West, because that is what this situation did. It just about fucking killed you and you've been balancing and you haven't been doing a very good job. You've been tripping, you've been stumbling and you've been falling dealing with this person because you really thought that you could have something with that person and they disappointed you at every chance that they got and then made it better. They know that they had you sexually. This is, I see that with the Ace of Wands twice, this is some pretty good intercourse. Pretty, pretty good for some of you guys. Uh, this would, but you know, I don't see the magician. I was going to say, um, I don't want to tell you guys, you know, I hate getting into magic, but I've had a client or two that has told me that that's been confirmed. This is the reason why you're operating here because you're up. That goes directly with this eight of uh, cups. Okay. Um, I'm glad I don't see the magician right now because with this amount of passion, this is also newness though. Again, this is indicating how passionate you were about the person, but make no mistake, your clarifying energy was definitely, you know, um, the ace of wands in a way where it was your lust and your passion and your ego and everything that made you want to go toward that person. But we also have it in your in your main energy, which leads me to believe that you've shifted that focus. And you still are very much operating, Taurus, from a very fiery perspective. But you shifted that passion into work. Being more confident at work. Maybe this situation had you calling off. This situation had you doing uncharacteristic shit is what I see. And the call came in that you could no longer operate this way. That juggling um, could indicate also with this hangman that you had two choices to make. Um, like I saw at the beginning of this and you did not make the right choice the first time. Maybe you got rid of somebody for this person and now everything is come down. I see this juggling. Um, and I see that the hangman was here. So there was definitely two decisions for some of you. It was, do I stay or do I go? And for some of you is, is do I leave this person for that person? And I think a lot of you guys did. And once you did that, maybe you tried to backtrack. And when you tried to backtrack, you realized that you could no longer come back. Um, that could be what this is. Clarify the strength card. So, you know, you're having to be strong. All right. This is why. You felt this person was wish fulfillment for you. But again, you took that passion and you shifted it, okay? You were strong. That there is extremely hard to do. Oh, Lord, let me tell you. Tauruses, you are fixed earth. When you lock those horns, literally, I think, what do, what do bulls do? Bulls, um, see the three of cups tried to come out. I do think that, yeah, and the Three of Pentacles. These fell out. I'm not going to take them. But, yeah, you were juggling. You were definitely juggling two people. And one of these people, the this person, this person wasn't good for you. And now you lost everything. Um, listen, what do bulls do? Don't they, like, uh, like kind of dig their feet into the ground and don't move or some shit? I don't know. I'm going to find out. That's what you did with this person. And you, it, it was an unwavering, un, like, it was like glue. And I don't see that this is indicated past, present, or future. This could apply to any time frame. I don't feel like this person had your best interest at heart, though. Clarify this high priestess. Yeah. You had to go within and you really had to finally stand up for yourself with this page of swords. Um, this is what was hidden. See the high priestess? Pages brings trials and tribulations. Pages bring the truth. 
And that truth, with that truth that this page brings about is always a challenge. Someone brought you the truth. And when they brought you the truth, they did not deliver this truth um, uh, and gave a F about your feelings. This truth was something that was hidden in this high priestess. And that could have been that they only wanted you for sex. Or I don't feel like this has anything to do with love. I don't see love anywhere here. This, and it's saying express your love, but I feel like that's another person. I don't feel like this is the person that we're talking about with this um, Ace of Wands. I feel like this eight indicates that there were cups of love and there was some, I told you that there was a four of cups. I feel like you, you diss somebody for this. You, you threw away other viable options like indicated in that seven of cups card and you realize that you made a mistake. But the beauty of it is, is when you realize that you made a mistake, see, look at this bottom of the day. When you realize you broke somebody's heart. So when you realize that you made that mistake, it did two things, but it had to happen with this hanged man. You were forced with that judgment to realize that you stuck with the person that really did love you. And also, when you went toward this person, that other option let, let you know with this judgment that that person wasn't any good for you. And that is why um the seven is up uh, is in reverse because you realize that so when you went through all of the energy and the emotions that brings about oh that seven of cups that's what led you to the eight and you had to free yourself from that situation that that bound you and no longer served you okay Clarify this queen of cups. This is water energy. You definitely could have been dealing with a fine water sign. Okay? Get ugly. Yep. You blocked out your emotions. That's what we did. So you blocked out your emotions. You had to go. You were in the fight for your life. Okay? You blocked out your emotions. So we have the four of pentacles. Where is that? I thought I saw four of pentacles somewhere. Hold on. We got the three. No, we don't have the four. So, okay, good. So this is you blocking out the emotional, the emotions of it. And this is clarifying what you had to do. So this is clarifying this. And you finally had to start getting to the point where you focused on work. Okay. Um, this is one of the measures that you had to take um, when to release this person. You had to stop yourself from feeling. That is so hard. I'm so sorry. Clarify the hangman. So now, herein lies the problem. This person from the past, now you're thinking about, you're in your head about this person, and it puts you in hangman mode, because again, that goes back to my original um, theory that you had a choice to make between two people. So, the new person, this, this fire person, this person that lit this fire in you is not this person, like I suspected. You were juggling both of them. You caused, you caused some type of heartbreak, um, and you were in hey man mode, but while you were in hey man mode, you were trying to operate from a safe place where you possibly caused some heartbreaks, kept some secrets, and then this person came out of a bag on your ass after you were dealing with him or her and realized that the person from the past was the best bet, and now it has all come down. I don't believe that this person is going. Clarify this Ace of Wands and this Ten of Swords. But the good thing is, is that with the Ten of Swords is that the situation, yes. So now because you've lost both, bad and good, you're trying to focus on doing you and focusing on with the Nine of Pentacles on you and turning that, that this passion inward. I did say that at some point. Turning this passion inward um, and focusing on yourself. So we got two nines. There is a distance. So there's a distance between you and this person that is from your past, you're in your head feeling very nostalgic. This could be you going over everything with that other person, but I do see that you come out of that. Um, and there's been some twos, some juggling going on. We got two twos. So the two twos was a choice. The hangman indicates that you made the wrong choice. And now you're thinking about this person. 
represented by the six of cups could be a person from your past okay so we got two sixes do we got two sixes hold on because i want to see if there's going to be an apology we have two twos choices three twos actually we got two nines distance so you are not with this person Let me see. Yes, we got two sixes. There's going to be an apology. This is you operating in your nine of pentacles. This is you understanding that it is safe for you to love. This is you keeping an open mind and trying to be positive about this situation that you royally messed up. If we look underneath the bottom... You no longer see you. You're no longer fighting. This is the nine of wands. Okay, you're no longer fighting. That's the burden that you feel that you're holding. Two tens. The cycle is ending, and this is indicating that there is a choice that you had to make. Okay, so now on one hand you were tripping and falling. Now you have to make a new choice. The old choice was between two people. Do I stay or do I go? The new choice is, is expressing your love to the person that you feel like you have the Six of Cups with, okay? That's what I see. That's what I see here, okay? We're going to stop there. Well, wait a minute. I want to clarify finances and career and express your love for a second. Hold on. This is balance. Another six. Yes, yes, yes. Apology. Your career finances are going to come into balance. Don't worry about that, just like I've already predicted. So if you were having some stagnancy, it's going to change. Express your love is the nine of swords. You're not going to be doing this right now. There is distance between you and this person. You feel like your hands are tied and you're not going to be doing that right now. Sorry if that went blank for a second. You're not going to be doing that right now. Um... But eventually you're going to be moving out of this and it's going to be slowly turning around because you're going to apologize. Um, you're no longer operating in the thief energy, no longer deception. This is what's coming. Good for you. And you are not looking at things right now from the fact that you can see yourself successful with the person. Um I believe that you have to change the way that you think about this, this situation with this old person. You have to do some soul searching before you decide to come back. You will reach out and apologize. But right now, whether you and that person who you uh, completely broke their heart for this particular person, it has yet to remain seen in my cards whether that situation is going to get off on the good foot. Um, I do see that the lovers, again, is upside down. Um, so that's a very low uh, vibrational. So you're going to be focusing on healing yourself and putting that passion and turning it inward before you uh, and, and, and allow yourself to go with the wheel because the wheel is going to be turning in your favor. And you're going to take that time with this judgment to really um, heal yourself. But you are going to be re reaching out to that Six of Cups person. Um, and apologizing because they deserve it, okay? So, I certainly hope that that resonated. We already got the title to this. I didn't come this damn far just to get this damn far. Um, and it is called Cycle by Sabrina Claudio. I totally, totally think that this is definitely worth uh, naming that. Listen to the song. Listen to the lyrics. It's very, very, very... Um, it's cathartic. It's therapeutic. I listen to it when shit is just not going right. I love like you guys, my sun signs. Um, and I understand how this can be. Um, some of you guys, if this doesn't represent two people, this just represents you operating in a very self-sabotaging type of energy where every time you guys took two steps forward, you found something to, to do. You found something to get mad about or to um, to to focus on which caused the stag uh, the the relationship to stagnate, um, but that's for a very 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 small few of you. This definitely was two people. Okay, so 
listen to that song take away what you will if it resonate great if it didn't let it skate i will see you guys back here in december where we examine the love energy that surrounds you and found find out how bay is feeling about you when venus goes i'm sorry venus is direct when mercury goes direct because that will probably be the next time you guys get a brand new video they will start coming out that week and uh, mercury goes direct on december the 6th okay so enjoy this um i'll see you guys around i'm gonna be doing things in the background book your readings and i'll see you soon bye taurus